Good morning everyone, it's uh, not actually that long after I finished the other video. Uh, the reason for that is everything is still fresh in my mind so I want to move on to the next video now, while it is. Um, and I could have put all this on the other video but then we'd have ended up with like an hour long video so. I am here in my lounge, as you can see. Uh, as I believe I've actually told you that Mum works in a charity shop and uh, I've got a few goodies from her today. I've got uh, this um, Generation 4, My Little Pony Rarity and she's like a snow globe. Actually it works better if I turn her upside down and give her a shake. No. There is little um, glittery bits in the bottom then, you know, she's supposed to be like a little snowy globe thing. Then there's um, a Generation 3 pony. I'm going to keep an eye out for these because I didn't realise. I've seen these in charity shops before, but I didn't realise they were actually genuine um, My Little Pony ponies. That's what I prefer. I'm not going to say the cheaper Chinese ones are bad, but... Some of them are, some of them look bloody hideous, but, uh, mm. sorry about that. Um, but yeah, got a few down there that aren't genuine, at least not genuine Hasbro, My Little Ponies, which is what I prefer. Um, there's another um, soft toy up there I'll show you in a moment, but while we're at this end, I've been playing with this. This is actually working ish and oddly enough it's working better without the ground unless my ground is just bad then it could be too much um, electrical interference so I might try a different ground because um, I plug it into the outlet on the end here for the earth um, but I was listening to a French station on here there's a lot of background noise and hiss because it is an AM Signal which is very prone to interference, you know, even from something as simple as those lights up on the ceiling will uh, interfere, so. But, uh, what I want to do, just for fun, and just to say I built something, I'm not going to use parts from this kit, I will buy the parts in, because um, it's extremely simple. But I want to build this as a permanent radio, not one that, you know, I can take apart like this and look so untidy. Because um, it does intrigue me. I bet I could probably find something like this on eBay as well to use. I might experiment because I'm pretty certain I've got another one of these. If I have, I'm going to put two on there just to see if I can um, get one for each ear. But I think that would ruin the authenticity of it, wouldn't it? I'll leave it as it is then. But yeah, I just want to... Yep, still working. I just want to build this into a permanent circuit. Which means I'm going to have to find an antenna. I'm going to have to find the tuner. Um, but I can guarantee I could probably find that chip on eBay. And all these other resistors and things, they're cheap as chips to buy. I could probably buy them as packs, which is what I'll probably do. And that germanium diode will be easy enough to find. Um, but I think with these I could probably recycle them from an old radio. But I think that would be quite fun to do. Buy a little piece of um, Vero board to put it on. Anyway, there's my Applejack plush. Um, could be mistaken for a builder bear, but she isn't. She's um, made by TY Beanie Babies. Um, but for some reason, she has got the builder bear gown on. Uh, not sure why, but that's not a bad thing because now I can go on eBay at some point and find the builder bear version. That's my Build-A-Bear collection, or part of it, and uh, 
put the proper gown on the builder bear one. I don't have to find one with a gown. Not that, that actually bothers me too much. I'm not that sort of fussy when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, oh, I've got a bunch of uh, Technic Lego pieces here that I'm uh, trading. So I've got to pack those up and post them. These are for a Lego Technic tow truck. It's um, one that's quite a number of years. I think it's sort of like mid, mid 2000s it came out. Um, I got these parts for it when I, when um, Mum's old neighbour came back from the recycle centre with like boxes, three, four boxes of Lego Technic that were hugely incomplete, apart from the backhoe that I've got up on that shelf. Um, that was the closest to being complete um, set there was there. Everything else was just far too incomplete to even bother with. But that one only had a handful of parts missing, so I actually did um, buy those and complete it. Because it was worth it. <laughs> um, but anyway, this tow truck I had wasn't. I had the wheels, I had a few of the actual Technic beams. The bricks with the holes down the side, a handful of those. and Basically, what's here? <laughs> that was it. So, um, I saw this post on a Technic Facebook group. And, you know, I just said, hey, I got that set, but it was largely incomplete. And I've got a few spare bits, such as the uh, air tank here. And he, was, and he uh, replied to my comment and said, um, if you're up for a trade, PM me. So I did, so we're going to trade. He's going to trade me two motors and an RCX controller, whatever that is, but... I would like to get some motorised models and whatnot, so I'm sure I can find a use for that. I'm more likely to use the motors and the controller than I am this um, Technic bits here. But I've managed to sort him out some bits. I'll chuck a few other um, spares in as well, I think, that I know go with the tow truck. Um. But believe it or not, this silly little plastic tank is worth £13. <laughs> I kid you not, it's worth 13 quid. How daft is that? It's Literally, it's plastic, you know, it probably cost less than £1 for Lego to make it. That's now worth 13 of them. Um, probably because it's not a common part, you know, if, this, if the set didn't sell well... It's going to be rare, thus the parts are going to be rare, and that will bump the value of certain parts up. Because LEGO will also only make certain parts while they make that set. So there's certain parts that are specific to a set, like those air tanks, which is why the value gets bumped up. Anyway, I'm here in the bedroom now. Um, a friend of mine popped over, as I said in the last video, and uh, we traded computer cases and one other item, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, he wanted a smaller case, so the case I had over by the TV that I was using on the TV, I swapped that for his case. For this big one. I don't know why, but cases like this, from you know, like that one, the one I've got in the lounge, and that one there, I just seem to love that style of case from that sort of era. So this was more up my alley, if you like, more up my street. So uh, I said, yeah, all right, we'll swap. You know, case for a case, fair swap. Uh, but then he threw in this as well. Because I think he knows the case I swapped um, wasn't the cheapest one, but it's an MX TV box. Now, um, basically what it is, I don't know if anyone's actually heard of these or even used one.
I have no idea what that was. I'm going to mute it so we don't get copyright anyway. But uh, it comes with a remote control which is missing its bottom. It's missing its battery cover. And I think we press the white button to turn it on. Should be a blue light come on. I don't see one. Is it a red button then? Ah! Red button to turn it on. Uh, so I've got to go to source. I have absolutely there we go it's booting up yeah it runs an Android OS and I believe it's KitKat 4.4 I think um, but apparently this model's only got a gigabyte of DDR3 but I suppose for the, what this, this does it's more than adequate enough um, but there we go you've got um, four USB ports on it I'm guessing two spare to plug in <coughs> flash drives, memory sticks and whatnot. Uh, it's got HDMI, so it is designed pretty much specifically for modern TVs. It does have an AV jack on it, but I'm not sure if that's an input or an output. It says AV. SP diff as well. I'm guessing outputs. Ethernet, but it's got Wi-Fi built in, so... The clock seems to be right. Um, you can use USB keyboard and mouse on it. This is all set up on my Wi-Fi, so I think maybe tomorrow I may uh, bug this up here. But it's got all the apps with it as well. You know, shed loads of apps, just like an Android phone or a tablet. Basically, what happens if I click that? See. I've got Twitter, Talk, Skype. So I could actually run Skype and sign in with that. I can run Facebook from here. Pretty much it's a tablet in a box. That's what that is. And you can actually get PCs just like this little box as well. About that big too. Or not much um not much bigger than this anyway. And uh I'm guessing the purpose for PCs like that is you can't upgrade them, you know, it's just got the onboard, the built-in graphics and whatnot, and Wi-Fi, just like this. Um, I'm guessing those PCs are just designed to be used with a specific, you know, use in mind, like on a machine or something, where you don't want a big-ass computer like that, for example. I noticed in a lot of um, shops, you know, the computers are like something like this, or a bit longer. Well, I suppose the one in Mum's charity shop, the one she worked in, is like four of these boxes put together, maybe six, because it's actually quite long, you know, but not much deeper than that. And I've seen. Um, computers at checkouts and things that actually have like a box like this basically on the back of the monitor. That's the computer. <laughs> so that's what I presume the little computers are for, you know, to be used for a specific use. But anyway, uh, it's Google Plus file browser. I'm actually looking for a web browser. Do we have a web browser on here? We've got Netflix. There we go. Yeah, I'd have to log in with my details, but I can't be bothered with it at this moment. How do I go back? Um, how do I get back? Use input method, no. <whistles> Why this display? Bluetooth off. Oh, it's got Bluetooth as well. Invalid. Uh, um, escape? Oh yeah, it's an escape button. 
user manual, settings, and voice search. So you've got YouTube. How do you notice it isn't the fastest thing on the planet, but it's definitely faster than the old tablets I had. Oh, look at this. This is smart. <laughs> I'm liking this. So it, it's basically an oversized tablet by the time you connect it to a TV. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing, you know, like the memory card slot and the extra USB ports are most likely for, um, you know, if you want a extra memory for music, for example, to store music on it. It's got movie player, it's got messenger there. I was actually looking, is that the browser? Oh, it is the browser. So you can either use this to type with. Or the actual keyboard to type with. So can I, I've got to hit escape again. Yeah. Whoa! Escape too far back. And uh, it's hard to do this freehand. There's an update thingy there. Google Maps as well. Picture player, flash player. Ugh. Browser! There we go. And it. So yeah, this this will do pretty much everything. I don't know why I did that. I got no idea what this is. I don't know what that is. And anyway, I don't believe there's any sort of uh, thing advanced, I don't know. No, there's no other uh, shutdown method, it is just uh, just to turn off with the remote, just like that. off as well because I don't want that on because I'm gonna hit the sack I was getting sleepy oh my little finger just cracked <laughs> didn't hurt but I did feel it Nemo's collywogged the coat again yeah let me just clear the bed I haven't put anything back over there from when I was uh, Tinkering with the light in the other video, or putting the light up, I should say. Yeah, I'm guessing with the other two USB ports, you can do that. Oh, my memory card's getting full as well, so good timing, really, because I've pretty much shown you everything I want to show you in this little video. So, thanks a lot for watching. Much appreciated, and uh, I hope you like the video. You know, I hope I uh, make use of that little device. Anyway, as I said, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you there. We'll try that again. I'll talk to you all again in the next video. Bye bye.